the channel guys hope you guys are all having a great day i made a video last week or the week before about how to drive a manual transmission and that was just to kind of help people that are learning um, and kind of share my input i guess because sometimes it's better to learn from different people and uh, it actually sparked a couple questions and some people were asking when do you slow down how do you slow down kind of the downshifting kind of thing how slow do i have to go around corners and just some basic questions but it's okay because everybody learns at some point um, so they need to know and they need to have their answers. So today I'm going to make this video to kind of explain to those people who have the questions um, how to downshift and when to downshift and when you need to slow down and that kind of stuff. So if you're here to see how to downshift, skip ahead a couple minutes or just listen through and maybe you'll learn something. The first question I wanted to touch on was people saying, how do you turn a corner? And I mean, to some of us that sounds so simple, but to some people they really want to know. Um, and it's basically as easy as whatever speed you think your car should be going, put it in a gear that matches. So if you're coming up to a corner and you have to slow down to 40 to go around that corner, chances are you don't want to still be in fifth gear, but you don't need to rev it down and do it like a race car to get there. You can just kind of put your car into third and go around the corner. So what I like to do is I downshift, like say I'm coming up to my street for example, I downshift five, four, three, and then as I'm turning and I'm going around the corner and I'm going nice and slow, probably, 30-ish, I just put it into second gear, slowly let my foot out of the clutch. I don't even really rev match because I'm not going that fast and my RPMs are already falling. And it's just calmly doing whatever your car is asking you to do. So basically, there is no right answer for what gear you should be in when you turn or how to turn or anything like that. It's more just feeling out your car and seeing what it wants you to do. Something that everybody that's driving a manual should be doing is downshifting. And not only does it save you gas, on a newer car it'll save you gas, but everybody that's driving a manual should know how to downshift. And there's a couple reasons for downshifting. And number one is gonna be just to slow down. So you're coming up to a stop called engine braking. You don't wanna use your brakes or you're gonna use your brakes, but you're gonna downshift first. You just downshift through the gears. So right now I'm in, I'm in sixth gear. So you just go into fifth, fourth, third and like that and I've already dropped like 20 kilometers an hour sorry it's not miles and I'm still slowing down if you guys watch I'm still slowing still slowing and I do that personally when I come up to a stop because it saves me from having to come to a full stop and I'm just that's just my opinion some people aren't picky I'm not really too picky but if I see that the lights gonna change soon usually I just downshift pre getting to the light and then you know, as I get there, I can just kind of roll, like in second maybe, in second, just kind of roll and then keep going and back at the third and go all the way back up. That's the way I like to drive. Not everybody has to do it that way. So you can use it to slow down. Whoa, that's slippery there. And you can also use it to engine brake. And now those might sound the same, but they're kind of two different things. So when I say slowing down, I mean, for example, like I just did when I slow down for the lights. But if you need to engine brake, that's like, say all of a sudden you really need to stop or you're on a racetrack and you're coming up to the corner and you really need to stop, if you downshift, it's gonna give you extra power on top of the braking to help you slow down. So that's just kind of like an extra little bonus. It doesn't wear on your brakes as much and it does slow your car down significantly faster than just braking alone. And the other reason that you're gonna to wanna to learn to downshift is to go faster. So if you're merging onto the highway, for example, right now I'm in fifth gear doing 70 kilometers an hour. So I'm gonna merge onto the highway. I can't just floor it because if I floor it, and that actually wasn't that bad. But <laughs> say it wasn't like, say you didn't have enough pickup in that gear and you need to get on the highway. So you're going and you need to go, okay, down into fourth, into third, and now you can get on the highway by just giving a little bit of gas. So that's what, another reason why you're gonna wanna downshift. So speeding up, for example, merging into traffic, slowing down, for example, just coming to the lights and not wanting to come to a full stop. And uh, third was engine brake. To engine brake, and I know you guys probably all have different examples and different meanings for those words, but that's the way that I look at it. Now to downshift itself, the actual maneuver, it's a little bit tricky because you have to do three things all at the same time. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is put your clutch in and change gears just like you change gears when you're going up. So you go from fifth to sixth, but now you're going from sixth to fifth. It's that easy. It's the exact same motion, just in reverse. Don't psych yourself out about it because it's not that big a deal. I'm driving in fifth gear and then I'm gonna go to sixth gear. I just clutch in and into sixth. If I wanna go to fifth gear, it's the exact same thing. I just add a throttle blip. So all I'm gonna do is into fifth gear. And it's that easy. So there's three parts to it. They all happen at the same time, but they're not complicated. It's something you already do. You already put the clutch all the way in and you already change gears. So you know how to do two of the three things. And the other one is just giving the car a little bit of gas. That's a little bit trickier because everybody's gas pedal is a little bit more sensitive or less sensitive depending on the car. 
and everybody's car is geared differently. So it depends how much you need to go in between gears, but essentially the main idea of downshifting, so now you know how to kind of do it. The main idea is if I'm driving right now, my car is at 2,500 RPM doing 60 kilometers an hour, and that's in fourth gear. So if I go to fifth gear, my car drops down to about just above 2,000 RPM. So when I go back into fourth gear, I'm only gonna wanna bring my car up to 25 because I know that's where it sits doing 60. So it's as simple as clutch in, give it a little bit of gas, and when it hits that 2500, let off the gas and let it into gear nice and smooth. Keep the clutch smooth, like I said in the, in the how to drive manual. Keep the clutch smooth and everything will be better. I mean, I could tell you where all the shift points are on my car, but that's not gonna do much for you unless you have the exact same car. And this video is meant to be for anybody, not just people that have the same car as me. So what you're gonna need to learn is how sensitive is your gas. My gas pedal, for example, I can be driving and every, basically every gear, all I have to do is clutch in and just slap my pedal to the floor once quickly. Don't have to hold it there, just like on the floor and then I'm usually set to go. For example, driving a Mustang GT, you need to hold it there a little bit longer, it's not as sensitive. So you kinda gotta go down and then up. But my car is just down and out, like real quick, in and out, and that's it. But every car is different, depends how sensitive your gas pedal is and depends how your gearing is. Going from gear five to four, you're gonna need this much gas. Going from gear four to three, you're gonna need a little more. Going from third to second is quite big because the spacing's bigger. So you're gonna need more gas. So every gear kinda has a little bit more or a little bit less gas that you need to give it, and everybody's car is a little bit different. So basically the only way that anybody can really learn to do this properly is just get in your car, whatever car it is, or whatever car you're learning on, and go do it. And not every downshift has to be like you see on YouTube and videos and stuff like that. Right now I'm just cruising. I'm barely really moving. I'm doing about 90 kilometers an hour. And I don't need to floor it to get it into fifth gear because I'm not going that fast. So to get into fifth, it's super calm, super smooth, just a little blip, and now I'm in fifth gear. If I want to go back down, you don't need to be racing and floor and jump your RPMs all the way up. That's for way more experienced if you're racing around or if you're trying to show off your car and make it sound nice and stuff. But the main point is, I'm not trying to teach you guys how to be race car driver. I'm just trying to answer questions. And I'm trying to show you guys that downshifting is very, very easy. So I'm not gonna make this video super, super long because it doesn't need to be. There's a simple point here, a simple how to, and that's really all that you guys need and that's all you have to take away from this. So, what you're trying to do in summary, what you're trying to do is you're trying to match the RPM. Wherever your car would sit in the gear below, that's where you want to bring it to before you get there. So if you're in sixth gear and you're trying to downshift to fifth gear, you got to give it enough gas, that way the RPMs go up to where fifth gear would be at that speed. And then you let the clutch out. And it's all smooth, it all happens at once. And it's, it, there's no camera angle I can really get that'll show you all three of these, so I'm trying to lay some over, I hope they work. But it all happens at once, all very smoothly, and there's nothing really, really dangerous about it, or scary about it, or anything. It's it's quite easy to do. Another reason you might want to do it is if you have small bridges, and they're kind of going to make you a little happy. So you go into fifth, you go into fourth, and then as you go under the bridge, gotta love it. I was working outside all morning and I feel like my face is like frozen. If I'm talking weird, if I look like I'm talking weird, it's because my face is so cold, I ha it's just not funny. And then I just came out here to take pictures of the car. I was trying to get some nice mountain shots. And of course, clouds rolled in right as I pulled up. I got like three or four good shots. Someone came, I had to get out of the way. Got back in the road, mountains were literally gone that fast. I hope that made sense to some of you guys. I'm sorry if it didn't make sense. I Everybody explains things differently and sometimes it's hard to understand some people and it's really easy to understand others. So I do my best to explain it. That's the way I've explained it to people in the past. And I've taught some people how to downshift like in person and I know that I understand it and I know that I can get it across. It's just sometimes people don't understand and I won't know that because you guys are on a video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them down below because I do my best to answer all the questions that you guys have. I will catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And whether it's learning to downshift, learning to drive, or doing anything else, remember guys, to stay committed. Peace out.